Well, the best way to describe today's market mood, moody. Yeah, the Dow closed at yet another record, but the euphoria of the morning that saw the blue chip index soar more than 300 points following the weekend passage of the Senate's tax cut bill. Well, that euphoria was mostly gone by the closing bell. He, there's a sense that investors are trying to figure out which sectors will benefit and which won't from that tax legislation. And that could be why the tech-heavy Nasdaq was lower for most of the day. Here are the numbers. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 58 points to 24,290. Nasdaq was off 72, more than 1%. And the S&P 500, up for much of the day, was down almost 3 Despite today's mixed finish, the market rally this year has really been impressive. So what should investors do next? Mike Santoli takes a look. It's the time of year and that moment in a bull market when investors are asking whether to lock in some gains or let them ride. The S&P 500 is up 18 percent this year and almost 90 percent the past five years. The index is on an eight-month win streak and has only risen in nine straight months once since 1980. Stocks have now begun pricing in the expected windfall from a big corporate tax cut, and the economic news has been unusually good for months. The strong 2017 rally has also left many investors' portfolios tilted more heavily towards stocks than they planned. So is it time to trim back on equities or bet the market can deliver further rewards in December and beyond? Well, December has a well-earned reputation for generosity. In years that most resemble 2017 in terms of performance through November, December has produced further gains of around 2 percent on average. And December has never once been the weakest month of any year, which is encouraging given that the worst month of 2017 was March, when the market was down less than a tenth of 1 percent. Still, for 2018, it probably makes sense to expect a less smooth ride for stocks, even if the bull market carries higher still. The tax cut will produce relative winners and losers among industries and companies, and the effect of a tax cut in an already humming economy could have unintended effects on interest rates and inflation that might restrain any boost to growth. If the market does grow choppy in coming weeks and months, there's a bright side for investors looking to stay in stocks. After such a long, calm rally as we've had this year, the first sharp pullback is rarely the start of a severe or lasting downturn. At least, that's what the market history books tell us. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mike Santoli at the New York Stock Exchange.